Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a little different. I've left it unedited um, because I have I am sick today, so I wasn't able to put so much energy into it. And I do want to get a video out before Sword and Shield is ready to go. So um, yeah, with that said, I do want to quickly shout out PTC Geo Store for sponsoring this video. If you want to get yourself some Sword and Shield codes, be free to check out the links in the description and use the code FTW for 5% off at checkout to get yourself a pretty good price. But yeah, I'll leave you to it and enjoy the video. What is up, peeps? This is for the Win TCG, and I'm talking you back to another YouTube video. And before we get into it, as you can tell by my voice, I am ill, unfortunately. So um, this video is going to be a bit, a bit more laid back than usual. And um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know ahead of time. It's also going to be unedited, kind of like a classic video, if you will. Um, I used to do this kind of stuff. So there's not much energy in today's video, but that does not mean that this deck is not serious okay this deck is next level okay it's really really good and i'm really happy with it you can already tell it is um it's pretty much my adp latios and latias deck but i completely forgot of a card that can do the same thing but better and that is ultra necrozma Ultra Necrozma is actually seeing a bit of play now anyway on the ladder. People are just using it to destroy Tag Team GXs, rightfully so. So I thought, hey, let's combine it with ADP to see what we can do. We're not so reliant on the Malamar setup and everything. We can just go the standard ADP setup, charge it up, uh, get free energies on it, ready to go, an energy attachment, and you're hitting 290 damage. You're one-shotting most big boy Tag Team GXs out there. And even Pokemon V cards that will be out and running around as of, um, I believe, it officially releases on uh, Friday. But I'm not sure if you can play with it tomorrow, because tomorrow is when you're actually able to open the packs and stuff. So uh, yeah, this 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 start this this is this is mad. And I wanted to get this out before the release of Sword and Shield, um, so you can kind of mess around with it for the time being until uh, Sword and Shield is released. And even then, I can probably check up on it. But this is a this is a very very serious deck, and it's dangerous. So uh, let's get into it and see how it goes. I'm actually super excited to play this one. <clears throat> I've already tested it out a bit, and it's doing some serious work. It plays very similarly, if not exactly the same as the ADP Latios Latios deck. So if you've tried it out, which I assume some of you have, and a lot of you have actually told me that the deck is great. So it's going to function pretty much the same way, which means you can rely on it. It's not something that is uh, uh, too different to that before. So yeah, you, you should be good. You, you, it will be consistent. I can guarantee that. I've got a huge jug of water with me now. Mm. Just to make sure I stay hydrated. Got to stay hydrated, man. Got to stay hydrated. Um, I wasn't actually planning to make a video today, but I really wanted to get this out. So uh, that's that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> right. Let's, let's go. Let's go. But um, hopefully I am well soon enough again. It is usually around this time of year when I start getting a bit sick, which is annoying. It's my birthday next week, and I always get sick around that time, which is such a pain. <laughs> but is what it is, right? <clears throat> All right, so a few changes to the list that were... So I didn't just replace ADP with Ultra and Cosmo. I did make a couple of uh, changes. <clears throat> so I noticed I played Giratina to help deal with Keldeo. I noticed that was kind of pointless. And Mimikyu will do the same job. So long as you get some damage on it, you should be fine. So if we manage to do that, have that uh, in play somehow, then we should be okay. So, um, yeah, I think the Mimikyu would be the best way to go for that, if anything. So, yeah. I mean, getting my son coughing in the background as well. He's fine. Um, I think he might be catching it. But yeah, don't worry. I, I highly doubt it's coronavirus. It's probably just a standard bug. There's something going around my local area. Um, and it is usually around this time of year where it does happen. Also, if, speaking of coronavirus, currently there is zero confirmed cases in, the U, um, in London. I think the only one confirmed case in the UK is up in like Newcastle. So yeah super 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 unlikely um so don't yeah don't, don't you guys worry i know some of you may worry um let's get the adp show going uh we've actually prized two rcs diagon Palkia, which is crazy and we are going second so we can play a supporter we don't have to worry about that first turn supporter rule however 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 i kind of want to get at the denning uh do you know what let's Maybe we go for a Jirachi. I wanted to get an NK out. And I did that. I wanted to get loads of things out once. But I think we'll go for the Jirachi for now. I do want like a Cynthia or something. Oh, but the Viridian Forest. Yeah, I've got to do that, man. I've got to get the energy. We can't be sloppy in this deck. Not in the slightest. Getting energy in the discard pile is actually pretty good. Because we still play Malamar. Which is great. 
Um, it still works, so by all means, we'll roll with that. In fact, we'll get another one in there as well. Let's get the... And we have five to work with there, so that's cool. And we have the escape board. We're not going to play it. We want them to assume that we, we don't have it, so let's go from there. Oh, man, actually, it's really good. I think one of the best things you can have when you're here is war. It just is so amazing. Well, that and also when you're hanging, but that's a different story, right? <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Okay, so they played that. Obviously, they're drawing the fort. And uh, this just looks like your standard uh, dark box type deck. Um, which I think we can sweep away quite quite nicely. <clears throat> in fact, we're quite used to... Um, in the Latios deck, of course, you want to be able to retreat your... Arceus and Dialga, uh, ADP. Why did I say Arceus, Dialga, Palkia? Your ADP, um, without it getting KO'd. But in this one, we don't really mind. It's actually a good idea to keep it in the active for as long as possible. Get as much energy on these bad boys. So you can at least guarantee these big one-shots no matter what is in front of you. So that's something to bear in mind. Uh, Righteo. I think we're going to go for that. And I think we're going to we're gonna Stellar Wish now. See what we pull. That's good. I want to save this Viridian Forest for last. I don't want to get rid of these resources. So let's do that. Let's, let's hopefully get an NK or something down, right? That'd be sick. Oh, yeah. We're going, we're going in hard for these NKs. Okay. Um, in that case, I think getting rid of the Viridian Forest might be the play here. I don't want to get rid of all my energy. Look, we're struggling a bit then. We're drawing into them a lot, which we don't want. So, ah, oh, pardon me. I don't know if you heard that, but I did just burp. <laughs> Okay, let's yeah, let's do that. We'll alter creation now. Obviously, we want to don't want to use our psychics on this active, similar to the lat one. Um, <coughs> we want to be able to use it on on our ultra and the cosmos to really charge up the energy, um, especially if they set up in the way that I expect. I expect some sort of dark cry or something to come down and us to be able to hopefully grab that custom catcher, um, which will be almost obsolete at some point in the next format. Uh, with loads of different gusting effects now coming into play, even custom catcher people will consider playing. So, not custom catcher, Pokemon catcher, people are consider considering playing, which is just flip a coin. <laughs> so yeah, there's there's going to be some crazy stuff in that the next one when it comes to gusting. But I think custom catcher will be the the go to. Um, I have even considered messing around with this deck a bit more and going for like a greens version. But obviously you have to cut the Malamar, the Mimikyu's, the Jirachis, which is a lot of consistency and a lot of coverage just for that um and just just relying on the likes of like custom catcher being consistent just for the sake of it it's not really worth it in my opinion if you get what i mean i think i, I think i'm talking a bit of gibberish talking a bit of gibberish but just, let's 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 just take a moment quickly to appreciate this new setup right it's nice it looks it, how would i describe it it looks natural right it's on a nice board it's it looks it looks it just looks nice clean Oh, the aesthetic is... I, I love it. I'm, I, I'm absolutely in love with this setup. With the new map they've got. And also, the game is so much quicker. And that's so nice to be able to experience. So, boy, alright. We're going to have to get rid of this because I want to get the water out. We're going to need these metal energies for the time being. Um, right to yo. Did, what did they do? If this Pokemon is damaged by attack, about 8 damage counters. Right, so we're going to be taking 8 damage counters, I'm afraid. Um, hey, that would be fun to mess around with ADP, wouldn't it? Oh, God, everything's always ADP, ADP, ADP. <laughs> uh, right, let's just get the free... No, 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 no. Uh, get the metal energy onto it. There we go. Is that overkill? Possibly, but I still... I mean, I can hold into hold this ADP for a little bit without really needing so much going down. I don't know what this deck is right now, to be honest. It seems like a lot of their attackers aren't really needing the whole <clears throat> dark box setup. So that's... Oh, wait. Hang on. I see you there. Ha-ha. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That is cool, mate. If you bring that big boy out, welcome him. Bring him my way. I'm all for it. So, yep. With this, we're hitting 290 damage. Another one on top. We're hitting 370. 370? Can I do maths? 290 plus 80 is 370. Yes. Yes. I'm confident I can do that maths. <laughs> yeah. So we're hitting, we're hitting big, big boy numbers. Big stuff, mate. And uh, they're obviously going to come in and do some damage. Only 80. If they attack with this, that is. We can only face frontal damage, including. Ah. You are trying to survive. Oh, they've done it as well. Stop it. 
Oh, I think we're so far ahead. We don't need to worry about this second in K. Like getting two Malamar downs is a, is a must have in my opinion in this deck. But we are so far ahead. We don't need to worry, man. We are good. We are sorted. Like, yeah, even if they take out another. Oh, mate, this is just stupid. Obviously, we don't get the KO. But we can accelerate. So <laughs> the one energy. So why not? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's not 180 hitting, hitting 210, which is, again, I guess it was a relevant number back in the day. Still can be relevant. I don't know. I think I think the relevant number nowadays is like 130 and 270. Like those those are the relevant numbers. That's like one-shotting tag teams or one-shotting your non-GX Pokemon. Um, and thankfully, this deck hits those numbers. I mean, if you attach one energy to this after ADP, you're hitting 130. That's relevant. That's an extremely relevant number. 210, considerably relevant, right? Was relevant. I guess in some ways it can be, depending on what you're up against. And um, going up to 290, on top of that, again, very relevant. <laughs> Being able to one-shot things, it covers the 210 relevant um, number. So we're hitting extremely relevant numbers here, which is fantastic. Right, so this is, again, prevent all damage. What are you doing, mate? You're struggling. Um, I, I don't know what to do from here, if I'm going to be honest. We just attack again. I don't know, mate. Obviously, they're going to stay safe, but you can only stay safe for so long, buddy. You can only do that, man. Sorry, it's weird. This has a broken thing on the lid, so I can't really open it properly. Also, let's talk about streaming. You guys have really been enjoying the streams I've been doing lately. Now, they don't really upload to the channel. Um, sometimes I leave them on for a little bit as an upload, and then I unlist them. But usually when I stream, I will unlist the videos. <clears throat> And um, I'll actually throw them into my streams playlist. So if you've missed a stream and you want to catch up on one, then just go into the streams playlist and they'll all be there. Uh, that's something to take note of. So that's something you can do because I don't want it clogging up the whole upload section on the channel um, where you're seeing the same thumbnails here again. It just doesn't make it look great. Um, so I thought, yeah, let's put it into its own um, playlist as unlisted so you can still watch it, but it's not coming up on the channel. So that's that's my way of going around it just to let you know. Oh, we're going to be taking eight damage counters again. I mean, sure, we're taking two prizes here, so I'm not complaining. We're just sitting here. <laughs> this is this is an absolute demolishment. Obviously, they're staying alive and they're doing damage, but <laughs> you're demolishing them completely. Like, they're struggling. Obviously, they're dead drawing, and the deck itself seems a bit shaky, so we can't use this to determine it. So we might run into another one. We'll probably run into another one after this. But yeah, anyway, yeah, so you guys really seem to be enjoying the stream. So I'm going to be picking up the pace on that. Hopefully about one stream a week or so. When I do it really does depend. But um, to give you guys a, a better idea, it's usually on the weekends. May it be a Friday on a, or a Saturday. It really de depends on my plans. Because um, I think, for example, this weekend, I don't even know if I'm going out this weekend. So I might be able to do it this weekend twice even. I can't guarantee it, but just say it. Next weekend's my birthday, so I'm not sure. But... Uh, you, you'll see it when you see it, basically. That's the best advice I can give you, unfortunately. I wish I could say something better. Right, I think they hit heads. Am I right? Which means it's just... Eh. Right, obviously, they can get the KO after this. Um, but... This would be a great time to play Custom Catcher. But... I mean, we could do something stupid. We can attack with, like... We can actually attack with Jirachi here and get a KO. <laughs> uh, obviously, we can't because it's protected right now. Um, but knowing we could just simply attack with Jirachi kind of makes me feel a bit more comfortable because they only get the one prize. And it's not like we need the Jirachi right now. Screw it. Let's attack. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm an idiot. I forgot to. <laughs> I forgot to use the Malamar to accelerate to it. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay. No, I think I'm still cool to attack with this. We don't need to, obviously, but. Why don't we wait? Okay, I got to use my I got use my noggin a little bit here. Why don't we just retreat to the Mimikyu and then next turn switch? Yeah. Oh, guys, I'm being stupid, aren't I? I can blame my illness at this this time at least, right? <laughs> I guess we just retreat to the Mimikyu. And then next turn we can just switch. Yeah. Well, this is just this is just kind of yeah, there's, there's no explanation for how this is turning out. I mean, it's just, they're just struggling. They're literally holding their breath right now under deep water. So <laughs> not a matter of, not a long matter of time. Not, not, it's only a matter of time. That's the phrase. There we go. That's it, mate. Until it happens. All right, just fit the tails, mate. There we go. All right, nice and easy. 
we'll even we'll even flex them a little bit and we'll go for the big boy we'll go in for the 290 damage two prizes obviously thanks to adp nice and simple bang okay let's roll for another one i want to go i want to go for another one man let's do another one oh yeah baby okay let's go and um Right, we're just going to roll. As I said, this is just a live video. I'm not going to edit it or anything like that. Um, with me being sick on that. I mean, this is going to hurry up. That'd be great. Yeah, so this deck, is, this deck is just mad. Absolute chaos. Like, it's it's chaos in every shape or form. It's crazy damage. It's, oh, it's just... I, lo I love these types of decks, right? The big hitting decks that hit relevant numbers. It's exciting, and I love it. And this is something I'd so recommend you try out um, on the ladder. If you have people to test with online or anything like that, test it with the big boy decks. Let me know how it works with them and how it's shaping in the current format. Let me know how it's shaping as soon as sword and shield format happens. And uh, boy, this turn one supporter thing is really, it's really annoying. It's really, I'm so used to clicking, yes, I start. <laughs> but hey, um, also with that, I do greatly predict that the Dene is going to be so, obviously the Dene is a staple, but I think it's going to be, it's much more of a staple. Like it's... If you're starting like I am, having a Dedenne turn one is just mad important. But luckily, we don't need too much of a setup. So I'm not complaining. Honestly, we don't need a crazy setup here. We just need to make sure that we have things out ready to go. Um, I, I want to get the Ultra on the cross one, so that's a basic. doesn't matter. We're just going to pass. Oh, we got the mirror match. Okay, so us going first is actually pretty good. Now, obviously, we don't get the turn one supporter, but as I was mentioning, we don't need the crazy setup. We are a basic Pokemon deck. We don't need to get benched Pokemon out as soon as possible. How have I not played that card in this deck? How have I not played that card in this deck? That's, an, that's a no-brainer. Uh, okay, maybe tech that in. I don't know. If you have the space, definitely do that. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, definitely tech that bad boy. Okay, this is going to be an interesting one. Also depends if this is Keldeo. Which can be problematic. We can hit some serious damage on Keldeo though. Just letting you know. We can 120 on it with a Jirachi. Just a heads up. Which obviously allows Mimikyu to, to come into effect. Which is cool. So, hey. Yeah, and I, I, I have just realized that... How can Mimikyu... Uh, come into effect on the Keldeos if, they, if we can't damage them? But then I also realized that we can just use something like Jirachi, which is just an extra step. So maybe Giratina is the play. I don't know. Maybe even a Giratina just throwing it in there to be able to put damage counters onto the Keldeo might be. I don't know. There's questions for that. It's questionable. It's questionable. And it's important because ADP Keldeo is currently top tier level. So fair play. Oh, wow. They got End Resolve. They didn't need End Resolve route. Okay. Fair play. Fair play. Fair play. But I think, I think we've got this in the bag. I think we're doing okay. Let's get rid of the... Ah, that's a... Mm, that wasn't confident of me, but I'll go for it. Let's get the Ultra and the Cosmo into play. Now, we do need an energy here. Like, and we need specifically a water energy, which does not give me any sort of confidence. Ooh, yikes. Okay, it's fine. Oh, I mean, we can still do the extra 30, but we just... We miss out on the prize cards. But we miss out on the crazy acceleration. Oh, this is sketchy. I'm, I'm contemplating now. Do we go for altered creation without the additional prize card? Because if we can just take these guys out, we win. And they're gonna they're gonna force that on us anyway, aren't they? Oh, people, don't make me regret this. Do not make me regret this play. As if it's your fault. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to regret this play. I really don't. Please, let's not regret this. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Okay, this could be an interesting matchup. Right. Um, I did want to mention as well. Mm -mm. Ah, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Do you get that thing where you get thirsty when you watch someone drink? Sorry if I made you thirsty. Um, oh, wow. They went in. Okay. Um, obviously, they're going to go for their own auto creation. If we can just find a water energy, a brilliant forest, we can at least lay into this bad boy and get ready. But anyway, 
let's uh, let's 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 mention what I was going to mention anyway. Um, music wise, some of you guys really enjoy my music. I actually have a song with my brother. Um, I'll, I'll probably put a link to it in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. I'd recommend it. It's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it, and I've got a good uh, response to it so far. So if you like my music and you've heard it before, quick plug there. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to go in hard here. We're gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some dirt. We're gonna have to do Dene here. Like, I need that energy. Like, I'm not even playing games now. I have to get the energy. I have to. I have no choice. Just give me that Viridian Forest or, or, or... Yes. Lord have mercy. There we go. We'll even get the energy in the discard pile just to add the extra oomph to that Ultra Necrozma. Let's... Let's do it. Let's do it. And I hope they don't do something crazy. We haven't got two Ultra Necrozmas in play, which is a scary one because... Ideally, we want two down so we can accelerate to them so they don't mess us up with a simple um, uh, great catcher, which they can. They can do that. So I'm a bit worried. I'm a bit worried. And the thing is, they can hit relevant numbers with the Mega Low Punny. Just to note. So, yeah, that's kind of scary. Regardless, we're here. And uh, also, big boy plays. If they hit into us next turn with this thing that injured, then cool. Okay, yeah, for that. As I expected that. They're going to go to the Jirachi and fish for that. Um, fish for that custom catcher. However, the ADP is not hitting relevant numbers enough to one-shot us, which is so crucial. They can't one-shot us. They can with this, considering how many EX and Jakes we have in play, but they haven't charged it up. So this turn, I don't think they can one-shot us, which gives us at least a turn to figure this out, right? At least a turn to try maybe pull a switch or something and try and find a, um, a thingy, ca thingy catcher. There's so many catchers, it hurts me to say them. Great catcher, that's it. All right, so they're opting into that, which funnily enough allows us, if we get that switch, to just take a nice mm, KO. However, it does lead us into this thing, which is super scary. <laughs> okay, this is, uh, they made a good turn there. I will give them that. They, they have definitely come out of that well off obviously they don't have to worry about the damage let's get the mallow and lana just in case we stay alive and see what we got <sighs> right okay now we can retreat but to why <laughs> obviously we can one shot this see i want to retreat uh, this could work out actually i've got an idea attach the escape board to the adp retreat right get rid of the we have one water in deck get rid of them two and then if we can get ourselves that water energy oh great i think we just saved ourselves here a little bit i think we have that leaves us open to get they're going to take three prizes, though. Oh, no, they could. Oh, that worries me greatly still. I was thinking, yeah, we can do that, and then we can use that again to accelerate and guarantee the next option of Crosma. But, ah, oh, they could just one-shot us in return and win the game. They're taking three prizes off this. Maybe we go in with something like a Jirachi. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just bring the energy back onto this for the time being. We may even have to attack with Jirachi into this just to give us a turn to set up an Ultra Necrozma a little bit better. Um, let's Photon Geyser for now. 290 damage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, the prices aren't really that relevant. Oh, great catcher. Sweet. The, pr yeah, the prices aren't really that. Oh my god. Okay. We just got everything we needed pretty much. Um, yeah. Please. Now, there are other ways they can do this as well. They can get their own great catcher, take out this bad boy. Celtic's well. Um, yeah, they can get their own great catcher, take out this bad boy, which leaves me with a completely dead Ultra Necrozma. Obviously, I can come back with 210. Um, 
Oh my god, my drink's going crazy. Um, they can come out with 210, but that's not... Not enough. It simply ain't it, Chief. So missing out on that, uh, that extra ultra Necrozma has definitely given us some problems. So I think I should have probably made a bit more focus. Well, the thing is, as I said... Uh, in the Latias and Latios one, you need two Malamars in play. Like, getting the Malamars out are crucial. You can drop down um, a... Oh, the Keldeo. Uh, okay. We might have to get Jirachi ready to go. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, am I attacking with Jirachi this turn just to stay alive? I think I might be just to stay alive. We have the Great Catcher, so we can bring this thing up. I'm attacking with Jirachi people, and I'm hoping that they don't. Obviously, that's 180. They will come back and win if they if they hit this thing. It's game. So we're gonna bench you, right? We're gonna attach the energy to Jirachi. Hear me out. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Why did I do that? I have a Mallow. Oh wait, no, that's still not enough, isn't it? How much are they hitting? How much are they hit? Oh, got my head's gone crazy. 60 more, 60 plus, 60, 120, 240. The Malam and Lana won't save us. Guys, I'm freaking out. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Did I just mess it up? Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm, 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 I don't see a win condition here. I was going to attack with Jirachi to give us a turn to buy this, to, to buy us a turn to kind of charge this thing up. But we haven't got the energy. Or the supporter to give us the energy. We hit into, into if we hit into this, we lose. <gasps> what? I'm assuming they got impatient. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to find a win condition, man. I was sitting, I was really trying. <laughs> oh, so we won that one out of rage quit. Would you classify that as a rage quit? Frustration. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they were short for time and they had to quit. I don't know if I'll take that one as a win, people. I don't know if I would. I really don't know if I would. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, yikes, uh, that was something that was a bit scary. I'll be honest with you So I am still quite confident with this deck the Mimikyu Do you know what I have realized that issue if we can't actually damage it then why are we dropping a Mimikyu in there? Maybe Giratina is the way to go It can hit 160 actually so actually that's incredibly relevant. What am I talking about? Wait, how much how much HP does Keldeo have? It's 170, right? Yeah, I think the Giratina is better because you hit 160 of it after the ADP. Put the 10 on it on the bench. Yeah, that's super relevant. What we're talking about. Um, I think, yeah, I think I, I think the Giratina might be a better shout than the Mimikyu. I think I might have been a bit over myself there. Even though it wasn't really a problem in that matchup, it's still there. I think not having the means to charge up these things after the ADP goes down is a, just simply due to the lack of me having the Malamars in play. And honestly, I should have paid a bit more attention in getting that going um, and put a bit more focus towards that. So I would say definitely, if you're playing this deck, for to make it work, not to make it work, more so to make it last um, and in increase its longevity, get those Malamars out ASAP. And I'm pretty sure you can beat most decks out there very easy. The damage output is crazy. It's not so hard to achieve. It's in um, line with... Uh, top tier meta cards um, So yeah, this is a very serious deck that I'd recommend you try out um, It gets a big big brain towards the end as you saw there. I was sitting here really struggling to find a win condition I don't know if I actually had it, but I think I went a bit too I thought I I overthought it a bit I think that's what I thought happened, but yeah, give us a try for yourself. You will not be disappointed. It's seriously insane uh, let me show you the list quickly. I completely forgot about that bit. <laughs> let me, yeah, let me show you the list. I, I don't know why it's called D. Oh, wait, I do know why it's called DP, DP Lat, because I changed it up and I forgot to save it as a different name. <laughs> That's cool. Um, yeah, this is the list. It's serious, serious business. Very, very reminiscent of the Latios and Latios list I've shown you, um, but it's serious.
big deal try it out maybe a few checks uh, texts we can do as i said the mimikyu for the giratina maybe in front of an extra great catcher just in case you come up in that mirror matchup um or in, in case your opponent tries to mallow and lana and stuff and, and really retreat and, and um try and avoid these big absolute huge hitters so maybe an extra custom catcher uh in place for what mm, maybe pokecom i don't know yeah, you definitely have to consider the balance of that. We have to balance the search for the GXs, the search for the non-GXs, um, whilst also the added output of gusting and energy, uh, finding energy at the right time, which we did have a problem with, as you saw. So maybe it, it may just be a bad luck of the draw. A Guzma and Hala, which I did play in the other deck, might be a good shout. I did cut it out thinking it wasn't that important, but maybe a Guzma and Hala just as an alternative route to Viridian Forest is again something to consider it's easy to get the tag calls so th these are things you really really have to consider i think guzman and Hala would be a good shout so put that back in <laughs> yeah put that back in maybe the giratina so he's going a bit more towards the original list um but yeah that, that's what that's what i'd recommend uh when it comes to it so with that said do leave a like if you did enjoy and of course do subscribe for more and uh yeah as again as i as i said again sorry check the link in the description for my new song with my brother i don't think you will be disappointed. So uh, yeah, try it out and I will see you tomorrow.